This Frenchman is undoubtedly one of the best strikers of his generation, and despite having controversy follow him off the pitch during his entire career, he always managed to glitter when he took to the green grass of the Santiago Bernabeu, especially on a Champions League night. Now playing his trade in the Saudi Pro League, Karim Benzema is a Real Madrid legend, and as a devout Muslim and elite athlete, he has inspired a generation of young people in his homeland of France which has a massive North African immigrant population. For millions of those boys and girls in particular, on the streets of Paris and beyond, Karim Benzema is the footballer that they seek to emulate. Not Messi, not Ronaldo, but Karim Benzema. <laughs> Perhaps robbed of a Best Footballer of the Year award by Lionel Messi, Karim Benzema managed to win a Ballon d'Or title of his own while the great Argentinian was still playing anyway. So he'll be more than content with reaching the pinnacle of personal achievement in football, as if his goals and titles weren't enough anyway. Benzema did feel he was overlooked at the best ceremony a couple of years back, however. He even took to social media at the time to remind the world of his fabulous stats from that season. He went keyboard warrior for a bit and reminded the world of the records he'd broken and the numerous individual trophies that he'd received. But when all is said and done, his cult status as one of the great number nines of the game is very, very safe and he needn't worry. Benzema was a monster on the pitch, who truly came into his own as the jewel in the Madrid crown upon the departure of one Cristiano Ronaldo to Juventus in 2018. Benzema was a rampant goalscorer with a knack for finding the back of the net, which was almost unmatched. And what separates the great from the good in professional football? Well, crucially, Benzema tended to do so in the biggest and most important games that he ever played in. Like his old mate Ronaldo, he became renowned for being ice cold on the hot of Champions League nights. Big moments were his thing and they brought trophies to his beloved Real. Benzema was a fox in the box who became a brand of his own and kids in France's capital would even put fake bandages on their hands or change their hairstyle to replicate the look of King Karim. At Real, Benzema would score from distance, score with cheeky back heels and even nod home a great amount of goals in the air. The Frenchman was calm over set pieces and in those one-on-one -on -one situations with a goalkeeper, you would realise that this man was born to be on a football pitch and born to score goals. His poise, technique and killer instinct in those situations is an art form that even the finest footballers find it very hard to manage. Week in, week out, he was there. Benzema has won just about everything there is to win in club football. He's won multiple league titles and Champions League trophies with Real, as well as a host of other domestic and international cups. His relation with the French national team has been fractured and controversial. We won't go into details on that one, but he has shown his quality at club level for sure. Benzema was the protagonist for what many would call the biggest club in the world. As recently as 2022, his influence in big, big games against Chelsea and Man City helped Real Madrid overcome ludicrous odds to turn around tough quarterfinal and semi-final Champions League ties to eventually lift yet another European Cup. When Benzema played alongside Cristiano Ronaldo at Real, the pair terrorized defences all over Europe. And yet, after CR7 left the Bernabeu, only then would Benzema become the player that many perhaps thought he wasn't capable of. Benzema moved from understudy and support striker to main man, and he did so in style. I was the piece that made it all work, Benzema boisterously claimed of his partnership with Ronaldo and Gareth Bale, who, let's be honest, didn't need Benzema to prove their own quality. Benzema has never been one to mince his words though. In fairness to the forward, certain stats favour his claim as more than just a support act. In the year following Ronaldo's Madrid exit, Benzema outscored his ex-teammate even though he became the main man at Italian giants Juventus. Benzema still played with a host of other superstars though, let's not forget. Of course, the likes of Vinicius Jr, Luka Modric and Toni Kroos would certainly not have hindered his goal scoring rate or trophies won in the years following CR7, but Benzema did step up his numbers dramatically. In 
Cristiano's last two years at Real, Benzema managed 19 and then 12 goals per season in all competitions. Then, in the four years that followed, when Benzema was the main guy, he racked up numbers like 30, 27, 30 again, and then a mind-blowing 44 goals across all competitions per season. No wonder he eventually got crowned the best player on the planet. Now Benzema is turning 36 and is playing for a humongous pay packet in Saudi Arabia. After four Spanish league titles and five Champions Leagues, his work in Europe is done. And let's not forget that a rampant young Benzema was brought to Madrid in the first place as he shone for his first club, Lyon, where he picked up four French league titles as well. Followed by over 70 million people on Instagram, Benzema is a hero for Frenchmen, Arabs and Madridistas alike. His superstardom, bank balance and footballing legacy are all definitely secured. From bursting onto the scene in France as a young boy to dominating Spain and Europe whilst inspiring millions, Benzema can drop the mic and leave the football stage as one of the best of his time. 400 odd career goals Later, Benzema might yet fancy an Asian or even world title with his new club, but few will replicate his Champions League success and even fewer will replicate his success as Real Madrid's talismanic forward. Where does Benzema rank for you as one of the best strikers or even footballers of this generation and all time? Does his lack of success with France matter? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and subscribe to watch our next video on another football cult hero.